Yo, 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 what's shaking? What it do? What it is? What it ain't? Talk to your boy. Hi, let me, man. What's going on? Checking in from the South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready to get out and make some moves like Nike shoes. You know what I mean? But I just want to tap in real fast, man. Salute to all my OG ninjas out there in the world, man, that's doing their thing, staying on their pivot, you know what I'm saying, getting to the bag, doing all that good stuff there, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, man, I just wanted to stop by and tap in real fast, man, and salute a, f a few uh, OG niggas out there, you know what I'm saying, that's doing their thing on and off camera, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to my man, OG Freeze, man. Shout out to my man, B Jizzle, back on this thing, doing this thing. Taking the game over, bringing that old school flavor, that old school flow back. Y'all already know what it is, man. So check it out, man. Y'all guys know I've been going in on a few videos and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I want to touch bases with that real fast before I slide, man. Uh, just for the record, man, you know, I always tell dudes, man, if you don't really know what you're talking about, don't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Because those same words that you speak on, man, could come back to bite you in your ass or on your ass or however you want to say it, right? And with that being said, you know, uh, my man OG Freeze, you know, been representing, man. You know what I'm saying? Putting y'all up on game, letting y'all know, you know what I'm saying? The real OG street niggas is back, man. You know what I'm saying? And we about to take back over, bro, in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of these fake impostors out here, man misleading the people, man, especially the kids and shit, you feel me, got these kids out here on some other shit, you know what I'm saying, doing unnecessary bullshit, instead of pulling them to the side, pulling their coattail, putting them up on real game, teaching them how to get to the bag, minus having to get to the bag, doing all the other unnecessary bullshit, man, and so I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's very important and very critical and detrimental, you feel me? That OG niggas, you know what I'm saying, step up to the plate, man, and be father figures to these kids out here, man. So my thing is this. You know, I did like 20 years and six months, day for day, state time. I ain't do no fed time, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could have did fed time because I know it's a little bit better than doing state time, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, you know, my charges went fed. They were state, you know what I'm saying? So I went in at the age of 17, man, you know what I'm saying, from 17 all the way to 38, you know what I'm saying? 97, I came home. 2016, March 1st, you know what I'm saying? And I've been out here ever since, right? But the thing about it, man, I had a plan, bro. I had a plan and a purpose, you know what I'm saying? And y'all need to know, man, for the ones that out there in the real world right now, you you know, I put you up on game, man. I'm going to pull your coattail real quick, you know what I'm saying? A plan with a purpose, man, you ain't got shit, bro. That's right. A plan without a purpose, you ain't got shit. You need both, man. It's like a magnetic attraction, man. It's like a positive and a negative element. One cannot live without the other. You feel what I'm saying? They both perfectly coincide and coexist with each other, right? And that's why a lot of folks out there fumbling the ball right now. They fumbling the ball, you know what I'm saying? Off get to the one-yard line, you know what I'm saying, and can't punch it in, you know what I'm saying? Fourth and goal, you load the backfield up, you know what I'm saying? You got three big fat niggas in the backfield, you know what I'm saying, trying to make way for the little nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that defensive that defensive front and that linebacker core, they ain't going for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, fourth and goal, you try to punch it in, they get stopped, game over. And that goes back to what I'm talking about, that plan without a purpose, man. You know what I'm saying? So, my mission goal, man, what always been my mission goal, you know what I'm saying, is to give back to the community, man, be a role model out here for these kids. You feel me? You know, share my story with them, man. Give them an opportunity to learn from my mistakes versus having to learn from their own. You know, and when you tap in like that, when you sacrifice like that, you know what I'm saying, you can make that happen. You know, sometimes it may be for you and sometimes it might not be for you. You know what I'm saying? The, the time that you want it to happen, that shit might not even happen. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't surrounding yourself around the right folks, bro. You know what I'm saying? You surrounding yourself around people that's talking that good shit. That shit sounds so good, sweet, pretty. You know what I'm saying? That shit mesmerizing to the mind. You know what I'm saying? That shit critical to the brain. You feel me? But you don't see no progress. And the only reason why you ain't seeing no progress, bro, is because simply you tapping into the wrong shit. You might be around the right shit for us hearing wise, but it ain't no motion behind that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I said to myself, 
you know, I started out on this YouTube shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing funny videos and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I know that's not my calling. You know what I'm saying? My calling ain't that. My calling is shit that that nigga OG Freeze talking about. You know what I'm saying? Being hands-on with in the community with the youth, man. The kids and shit. Going to these fucking juvenile facilities and shit like that. These at-risk kids. You know what I'm saying? And snatching them up, pulling them to the side. And putting that real game on them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them what the penitentiary life like. You know what I'm saying? Like, because me personally, myself, you know what I mean? I didn't know what the fuck I was getting myself into until I got there. And it was a whole totally different experience, man. It was it was a whole totally different ball game. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a world of its own, man. You know what I'm saying? When you go in the penitentiary, in the penal system, you separated from the world, man. It ain't no reality back there. The only reality back there is your ass locked down, man. Physically, you can't go nowhere. You in a fucking matchbox. You know what I'm saying? You in a hole. You know what I'm saying? Solitary confinement. I did six and a half years, day for day in that motherfucker, 23 and one. Sometimes we ain't even come out. But that goes back. When you talk about growth and development, man. You know what I'm saying? When you talking about growing and then developing and ultimately becoming that person or, the, or that thing or whatever you want to become. But all that shit come with work. All that shit come with sacrifice. And meaning, sometimes you got to put the big ego to the side. Set your ass down and listen to them OG niggas. Drop that real game on you. Drop them real jewels on you. I'm talking about that shit. You know what I'm saying? That everlasting shit. That shit that's going to help you slide through the cracks. That shit that's going to help get you through life. You know what I'm saying? That shit that's going to give you a totally different perspective on life. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and dudes don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because we get caught up in the rapture, man. You know what I'm saying? We get caught up in that threshold. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, shit. That shit that nigga talking about, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? I already know what's going on. I already got this shit mapped. I already got this shit wrapped up like fucking steak and saram. You know what I'm saying? But that don't be the case, though. That shit ain't even the case. When you think you got it figured out, you don't. When you think that shit working, it ain't working. But when you think it ain't working, that shit really working. You just got to stay locked in. You got to stay tapped in, man. You know what I'm saying? Even like for a prime example, for niggas ain't never been locked up in the penitentiary. Man, that shit different, bro. That shit fuck with you mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that shit attack you from all different elements, man. From all different aspects. You see what I'm saying? But when you sit down and you accept the reality that you in this motherfucker and you can't go nowhere, that's when you start to become a better person. That's when you begin to see things for what they are versus what they appear to be. And so I had to I had to lock in, I had to tap in like that. You know what I'm saying? Because all that shit was psychological. I'm in this motherfucker, but every day I'm waking up bumping to go home. Not realizing, boy, when you when you leave the county, when you go to the penitentiary, boy, it ain't no buns, boy. <laughs> a bun? Motherfuckers can't bun you out no penitentiary. Only way up out that bitch is max out in a box or you escaping or some shit. Other than that, boy, you ain't going nowhere. So that's, in other words, what I'm saying, I'm using this to paint this picture, man. We got to understand the differences between one thing and the other. We got to understand the difference between a dream and the reality. Because that dream is like a spur of the moment thing, man. You dream and you can foresee. But when you wake up and open your eyes, your situation ain't changing. You still where you at. But the reality part, you heal, free, no shackles and chains. Move as you want to. Go and calm as you want to. Eat when you want to eat. Whatever you want to do. That's the reality of it. But the dream part, man, that shit is that shit is superstitious, man. That shit fugagey. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use y'all terminology. That shit is fugagey, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So my man Big Freeze, like I salute Big Bro. You know what I'm saying? Not just the fact, you know what I'm saying, that you know what I mean? You know, he defending my man BG, Jizzle or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, they trying to say the man a rat and all that. But, you know what I'm saying? We are we already know, man. That man been 100. That man been official. But that's the, that's the, that's the dream part of it. 
Niggas want people like that. That's coming from the penal system, from the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Success is a journey. You see what the shirt say. Niggas don't want to see that. You know what I'm saying? But the reality of it is, you got niggas out here co-signing for bro. Niggas already know bro don't rock like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole different video. You know what I'm saying? I'm just using that as for a prime example to let y'all see. I don't just respect Freeze for that shit. I respect the fact that this brother, like myself and a lot of others, man, that made a hell of a transition out here in society, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to think about it. The average nigga do 20 years. Fuck 20 years. The average nigga do two years in the penitentiary. That shit damage, your, damage you mentally, psychologically. You know what I'm saying? That shit paralyze your ass. That shit like a dark. You know what I'm saying? When you incarcerated, it's like you fucking practice, 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 tar uh, correction, practice target or target practicing or target practice. You know what I'm saying? Or you just an experiment. These motherfuckers experiment. You know, they ship all these fucking drugs in, these fucking ibuprofens and Tylenols and shit. You know what I'm saying? And niggas are back there addicted to them shits. Niggas eating them shits, popping them shits, thinking that shit going to take away the pain. But it ain't doing that, man. They experimenting, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers trying new drugs off on niggas like us in the penitentiary, bro. A lot of us recognize it and see it for what it is, and a lot of us don't, man. And that's the reality of things, man. You know what I'm saying? But for, but for my man OG Freeze to be tapping in with them kids, man. See, that's a whole, that's a whole different element. That's a whole different ball game. That's World Series status. That's Super Bowl status. That's NBA final status. You know what I'm saying? That's that's fucking tennis status. You know what I'm saying? That's it's it's in a league of its own. You gotta achieve this. You gotta go through some shit in life to get to that point where you are able and capable of producing and bringing this type of shit to the table. And that's what we need. We need y'all out there in the real world to listen to niggas like us that's been in the cesspool. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like us and seen motherfuckers get stammed up, whab, whammed up, threw all fucking tears, hit in the head with locks and socks, fucking Jack Mac can goods, and you know what I'm saying? Niggas get bucked 50 across the face with razors and shit like that. Y'all gotta listen to us because we we done been we done been somewhere that you ain't never been yet. Hopefully you don't go there, but I'm just saying. The best is yet to come. So I tell dudes out here in, in, in the streets, bro. Y'all out here running around, you know, faking and shaking, gang, gang this, gang, gang that. Man, that shit is different behind the walls, man. You trapped in, you in a box, you in the cube, man. That shit gladiator school is like survival of the fittest. You know what I'm saying? Well, shit, I try to, I try to, you know what I'm saying? I try to educate, I try to educate niggas. I try to put niggas up on game. Boy, I try to let motherfuckers know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of times, you know, I tell folks, everybody grind differently. You know what I'm saying? The grind ain't the same, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got some niggas, you know what I'm saying, slinging dope. That's how they eat. You got some niggas in the car business. That's how they eat. Niggas build houses. That's how they eat. Niggas paint houses. That's how they eat. The the hustle is different. You know what I'm saying? Whatever hustle you cuff you 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 comfortable with, shit, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? But the difference between everything that I just spoke on, the only thing that's gonna get you fucked up is when you're doing your hustle illegal. You know what I'm saying? So niggas don't think about the consequences. You know what I'm saying? We we don't think about no consequences. You know what I'm saying? It's for for the average for the average black person, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a, it's a spur of the moment type of thing. You know what I'm saying? All you see is green. All you see is dollars. You know what I'm saying? All you see is the fact, you know what I'm saying, that you're balling. You know what I'm saying? You're splurging. You're doing this and that the third. But at the same time, you got to always be conscious and aware of the fact that if you know you engaging or indulging in something negative, man, some illegal, for every for every beginning, there's an end. You know, the average person, you're not gonna survive forever doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when it when we talk about preparation, when we're talking about preparing yourself 
for the next life, for the next level, why you still exist on, on exist, why you still exist on earth, correction part myself, you got to think about what come with that shit. So I know a lot of dudes that I grew up with, man, out here selling dope. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers get locked up. Niggas can't even got daggone make bail. More or less afford a damn lawyer to represent them. They go up there in the courtroom with a penitentiary. I meant correction with a damn public defender. Correction, a public pretender. Yeah, a public pretender. Someone that pretends, to, you know what I'm saying, to represent you, but they, they just the state. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the small stuff and the simple stuff that we don't even acknowledge no more. You know what I'm saying? We done got away from the reality of shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't think like that because we are, are confused-minded people. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I created this group, I created this group for a specific reason, right? Uh, not for self-benefits. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat regardless. You know what I'm saying? Whatever my plate can hold, that's what I want. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to get. You know what I'm saying? But when we talk about opportunities, man... I sat back and I think about all the people that I've had any type of interactions with. You know what I'm saying? Because I always present this to you. They present that to you. Hey, let's do this. And hey, let's do that. But then when you throw that shit out there, niggas don't commit to it. Right? Because there's no patience, bro. You see what I'm saying? See, we, one thing as, 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 as a black culture, a black race of people, and I'm saying this shit, you know what I'm saying? With cockiness, man, we don't have patience. We lack that shit, bro. If shit ain't going to pop, pop right then, we ain't got the patience to sit down and wait it out and, 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 and allow that shit to develop. We ain't good at doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just the reality of it, man. It, it, and I tell folks all the time, you know, sometimes you might be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You know, he ain't have to say it like that. Yes, you do. That's no different with the kids, man. You can't sugarcoat that shit. They got these kids going through these little scared straight programs or whatever the case may be man fuck all that give it to them raw and uncut bro let them know what's going on you fuck around and end up back there you know what i'm saying you ain't got no muscle game nigga gonna take your shit nigga gonna rape you nigga whatever all that shit come with the penitentiary man then you out here false claiming you gain this and then when you get back there niggas want to check your paperwork niggas want to see what you know niggas take you up in the room for the ones that been locked up, y'all y'all can relate to me. Y'all know I ain't making this up. Niggas take you up to the room, throw the tile up on the window. Boy, what you is? Bomb such and such. Okay, niggas gonna ask you some questions. As soon as you fumble the ball, it's a wrap. Come up out there, be looking like Willie Lump Lump. You can't run to the pigs. You can't run up front. Put you on PC. You ain't safe up there. That's lock up. Niggas busting out the doors up there on lockup, man. I done seen niggas go to the shower in handcuffs. Niggas bust out the doors and put that wham on them. Neck shots. You know what I'm saying? Temple shots. Gut shot. Back shots. Niggas just poke you to death. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, you got a scary ass CO, male and a female, working lockup, right? So when a nigga pull that wham out and get the busting on you, they going to dip. They going to leave your ass right there. Nine times out of ten, two things going to happen. You going to die or you going to wish you were dead. You see what I'm saying? But cats don't think about that, though. You know what I'm saying? You don't think about being able to get up early in the morning, go in the bathroom, take a leak, hit the toilet, brush your teeth, wash your face in peace. You... you, you in, in prison, that's that's not an option. You don't have those options. You smelling a nigga shit and another nigga smelling yours. There ain't no privacy, man, especially when it's locked down. When it's locked down, when it's no showers. Niggas got to put curtains up. Water in the sink, wash up in the sink. You know, it's just a, it's just a small stuff that, you know, we, we relinquish. And we don't realize it or the realization of that don't kick in until you find yourself in a situation like that. Right. So, you know, I want to go back to doing what I initially started doing. Community work, working with the youth, the at risk kids, you know what I'm saying? The kids that's being bullied and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But 
I also don't want to put a limitation on, on, on my abilities. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to maximize, you know what I'm saying, all of the abilities I have. And meaning I want to still tap in with the radio, our heart radio. I'm working on, you know what I'm saying, getting back in with WDRB Media out of Charlotte, Carolina. Uh, I've worked there before, right before the pandemic hit 2018. You know, I was kind of young and fresh with it, didn't know a whole lot about radio. But y'all know, I'm going to throw that footage up here at some point. Let y'all check it out. Ain't no caps. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Ain't no cap. You know, done, done hung out with the celebrities. Done did all of that. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, stay in my lane and do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to get out of my lane and get over into another lane that's not for me. That lane, that one in particular lane is not for everybody. Whatever your lane is, that's the lane that you need to focus on staying within. Don't try to cross over. You know what I'm saying? Because when you cross over, man, car crash, head on collision, bam, over with. Everything you feel like you work hard for, man, that shit go to crumb with all in one. So this is the mindset of niggas in the penitentiary that have an opportunity to come home. You know, when you first step out that door, niggas are scared, bro. I mean, what I mean about scared, I'm not saying on no bitch shit, but niggas are scared because if you done did a whole lot of time, like when I went in my area, when I came home, shit was different, bro. You know what I'm saying? I went to IGA grocery store around my area, man. I went to IGA. Fucked around and walked up and the door swung open. I damn near jumped out of my drawers, bye. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It wasn't no electrical shit like that when I went to the penitentiary. Everything with dough, dough handles and dough knobs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it didn't take me a long time to readapt back into society. I was able to readapt. But the reality of the penitentiary and out here in the free world, it lets me know that I done missed out on a lot of shit. And then despite the fact that I done been home a few years or whatever, I'm still catching up on certain shit. Ain't no need to front. The penitentiary going to damage you in some type of way. Not saying that everybody go in and do a lot of years, come out, you you pen institutionalized. I mean, the ratio, you know, 80%, yeah. But like I said, niggas like me, you know what I'm saying? Like physically, you know what I'm saying? I'm deaf. But mentally, they couldn't put, they can't put chains on that mental, man. They can't handcuff that shit. Niggas thought outside the box. <laughs> I stayed in tune with, with society as much as possible. Reading books, magazines, newspapers, you know what I'm saying? Listen to my radio, seeing, you know what I'm saying? Staying active, you know what I'm saying? Keeping my mind in tune, you know what I'm saying? Allowing my shit to continue to circulate and adapt and reach out and stay connected because I knew I didn't have a life sentence. I could have been came home. I could have came home 13 and 6. I did an extra seven years because I was back there crashing out, making dumb choices and decisions. And like I said, the consequences of it, man, you don't think about it until you find yourself in that situation. That shit fuck with you, man. You know what I'm saying? So I can definitely relate to this nigga OG, man. Freeze, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't seen nobody yet on YouTube dropping that shit like Freeze, man. You know what I'm saying? And for motherfuckers that ain't never been locked up, you keep listening to OG Freeze. That nigga make you feel like you was in the cell with him or next door across the hall from him or in another unit or somewhere on the compound because the nigga paint the picture so vivid and the reality of it on some real shit, everything he's spitting on is a hunter. He ain't making none of that shit up because I have been locked up. Like I said, I haven't done Fed. I did state, but it's the only difference is Fed, you got a little bit more leeway. You know what I'm saying? And, and they value those inmates because they know those fed niggas are important, bro. Because they got them doing all that time. It ain't no fucking time cuts. See, state, you making parole. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what I mean? Feds ain't no parole, bro. Straight time. Unless you get a time cut or, or whatever or some miraculous shit happen with the president <laughs> releasing your ass or something. You know what I'm saying? But cats need to know. Y'all got to value niggas been incarcerated, bro. Because we done stepped into a life. We done been introduced to a world that only us done seen and only us can relate to. But if you continue to listen and pay attention, 
You haven't been there, but in your mind, you can foresee this shit. And it can help you out in the long run. Boy, I need to fall back, boy. Damn. That kind of thing. You see what I'm saying? So like I said, man, I want to shout out that nigga OG Freeze, man. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to get a live in with him now. I'm trying to go live with Freeze now. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. And I ain't just talking about going live with the man to talk about that BG shit. Nah. I'm talking about penitentiary, back out here, society, freedom, and these kids, man. The ones that's trapped in the triple stages of darkness, deaf, dumb, and blind to the fact that we're going on around it because you ain't got no enough real OG niggas out here. Niggas like me, Freeze, and a, 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 a few other that's spitting this real shit, man. Because the reality, a lot of y'all cats out here can't even survive behind the walls. You wouldn't even know where to begin to start. I went in there at a young age. 17, nigga, I had to adapt quickly. <laughs> I had to adapt quickly. You know what I'm saying? And I done had my share of moments in them. I done won some, and boy, I done lost some. I done got hit. I done got hit and all. I can't make this shit up. I done got hit and all, homie. I done got hit and all. See that? I can't make this shit up. I done got hit. I know what it is. When I tell you, gladiator school, boy. Gladiator school, boy. That's how it is. When you live by the knife, you die by the knife. You know what I'm saying? If you bringing it like that, that's how it is. Because it's it's a, it's a bad it's a, it's one bad nigga for every bad nigga back there, boy. It's somebody for everybody back there. That's just the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to check in, man. Let y'all guys know. If you got a dream, man, follow that shit, bro. Don't let nobody dictate that shit. Because the minute you lost somebody to dictate your dreams, you have no control, man. And that's your word for the day. Facts. Penitentiary talk for sure.